A woman's voice should not have a different value from a man's voice. Human beings should have their own voices. A human voice means collectivity, leave no one behind. Human voice also means protection. Human voice means power. The power that uh, women have is that uh, they have voice to say what is their wish. So, a woman's voice cannot be silenced. There is a marginalized community that is functioning in a different way. And that is where the policy is not inclusive. It doesn't factor in these people that function with special needs. For example, the deaf people need sign language interpreters. So how do you communicate with them if they are not part of policies? Look at the C UNCRPD, the rights of persons with disability. Look at it as a right and not as a privilege. You are not doing people with disability a privilege. It is their right. Put all these things into consideration in the policies. When it comes to implementation, they will not be there. I remember I was in a workshop during the time when MDGs was around. And we were asking the questions, but we, uh, we are, we are, what about the issue of uh, people with disability? And somebody actually stood and said, but MDG is not for people with disability. And I was wowed, I said, wow, but MDG is for everybody. So because it's not referenced in that policy or in that uh, uh, Manila Development Goal, it wasn't referenced as persons with disabilities. So it uh, uh, the issues about uh, disability was actually forgotten. But thank God that we have SDGs now, and uh, there are goals that actually ref uh, re are referenced to persons with disability. When people see persons with disabilities, look at them, oh, this, is, this, is, this, this person is blind, she is sick. This person is deaf, she is sick. It's physically challenged, she is not normal. And so with that perception, it continued to grow and people started to shape this mindset and it has been moving on from one generation to the other. Mindset is something that you don't change. You, can, you cannot change in a jiffy. It takes years for it to go by. Even in the Western world, I remember we went to the US to study disability and the my, my problem, issues with mindset, attitude, they are still there even though they have passed the physical uh, um, barriers and all that, everything is going well for them. But the issue with myself is still there. But now came something good, which is the UNCRPD, United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability, that was adopted in 2006. And of course, Nigeria ratified it. And uh, that gave us something in a different light, and that is we have to now look at persons with disability in a different way. And what is this different way? There's a paradigm shift from the charity model, from the medical model, to all the social model, to the human rights model. What does this mean? I am a woman with disability. I don't have issues as a person, as a woman. I, also, I only have issues with the barriers that is placed in front of me. And that is, that have to do with the social life. For example, I assess a medical facility. I've um, I took myself from my home to this medical facility without no issue. But when I get there, I'm not able to go in. So that means I am not the problem. The barrier, which is the steps, I am not able to assess it. Those are the disability. So as we begin to look at it in that light, it's giving us a different way of thinking to say we have to really do something about the barriers and not the people. Because, hey, we are people. We are people. We are just people with disability based on impairments that we have. The real disability is the environment, the attitude, the perceptions, and the stigma.